for those who've abandoned hope. We'll restore hope and we'll welcome them into a great national crusade to make America great again. Shortages of marijuana are now being reported. For those who've abandoned hope, we'll restore hope and we'll welcome them into a great national crusade to make America great again. Despite our best efforts, illegal cocaine is coming into our country at alarming levels. Sir, uh, the Republicans are trying to blame you for the existence of a small air base at Mena, Arkansas. This base was set up by George Bush and Oliver North and uh, the CIA to help the Iran-Contras, and they brought in plane load after plane load of cocaine there for sale in the United States. And then they took the money and bought weapons and took them back to the Contras, all of which was illegal, as you know, under the Bolin Act. But tell me, did they tell you that this had to be in existence because of national security? Well, let me answer the question. No, they didn't tell me anything about it. They didn't say anything to me about it. The airport in question and all the events in question were the subject of state and federal inquiries. It was pri primarily a, a matter for federal jurisdiction. The state really had next to nothing to do with it. The local prosecutor did conduct an investigation based on what was within the jurisdiction of state law. The rest of it was under jurisdiction of the United States attorneys who were appointed successively by previous administrations. We had nothing, zero, to do with it, and everybody who's ever looked into it knows that. Yes, I have just decided to endorse my longtime friend, uh, Senator Clinton. I think that Bernie Sanders is overpromising. He's insensitive to the plight of black people. I, I smoked a lot of water, angel dust. PCP. Yeah, yeah, PCP, a lot of that, but I also smoked you know, I used to smoke heroin. I didn't shoot heroin. I sniffed heroin. I didn't like it that much. But smoking on the aluminum foil was fun. And then I, um, I obviously, everybody smoked a lot of weed. I, I used to sell pounds of weed. I used to sell coca leaf incense and cocaine and stuff like that. So I did a lot of stuff that wasn't healthy, that I'm, you know, not proud of. But it's been a long time. And I look back, and I'm like, wow, I survived that. As time goes by, and I'm pretty good at judging things like this, Russell will get bigger and bigger, and he will be a monster in the most positive way. And I sell coca leaf incense and cocaine and stuff like that. So I did a lot of stuff that wasn't healthy. We had nothing, zero, to do with it, and everybody who's ever looked into it knows that. Hillary's a great friend of mine. Uh, her husband is a great friend of mine. They're fantastic people. I mean, you know the thing, uh, they get a bad knock. She's a very nice woman. People think tough, tough, and I guess she's tough, but she's a very nice woman, and he's a very nice guy. We know all about the smarts and how smart they are, and all, but they are good people. Well, first of all, I know her very well, and I know her husband very well, and I like them both, and they are, uh, you know, just really, terrific people. I like them both very much, but I think you'll be, you know, you'll be looking at the record of Hillary Clinton and how did she do as Secretary of State, probably above and beyond everybody else and everything else. For those who've abandoned hope, we'll restore hope and we'll welcome them into a great national crusade to make America great again. And we will make America great again.